So I made this fall inspired tapache right here from pumpkin skins and butternut squash skins and I added a bunch of spices in it. And it smells pretty horrible. It smells really, really bad. Um, I'm pretty sure it went bad. There's no growth on top or anything. It was very, very active. But it's like super, super viscous and gloopy. And that's not right. So, <laughs> so I don't know what happened. <sighs> it smells really bad. It's like a combination of old vomit and really stinky feet with like gentle hints of some fruitiness and spice. I don't know, there's almost like a provolone thing in there too, like a provolone that I wouldn't like to eat, like a really, really stinky one. Maybe some apples that have really gone bad too. At the beginning, this smelled really, really, really nice. I was really excited about it. Yeah, it, it smells bad. And I wanna know, I wanna know what's responsible for this gloopy, gloopy, stinky mess. So let's put it under the microscope. Okay, so these look like some really small budding yeast. These are a lot smaller than when I normally see Saccharomyces cerevisiae. The yeast appear to be mostly like an oval shape and their budding is end to end. So unlike Saccharomyces cerevisiae where it can kind of bud wherever on the cell, this only buds at the ends, it seems. So I'm also seeing a lot of bacteria and some of those are a little spherical shaped. Some, as you can see here, are little end to end linked spherical shaped. Some are these spherical shapes or appear to be these spherical shapes that are paired up. And some of the spherical shaped bacteria are just on their own single cells. There also appears to be some rod shaped bacteria. Here's a couple more rod shaped bacteria linked end to end. So based on what I observed under the microscope, there are a variety of bacterial species that are probably responsible for the spoilage as well as the yeast that's in there is probably responsible for the spoilage due to the morphology of the yeast right the size it was smaller than normally what i observe saccharomyces cerevisiae to be and also the way it was budding it was just budding at the ends i can confidently conclude that it's not Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Perhaps it is Pichia species, Hansonia spora species, or possibly even some Candida species. For example, Candida crusae is a spoilage microbe in wines and causes this like slimy ropiness in wines. Perhaps that's what's causing the sliminess, the viscous consistency of this tapache. As far as the bacteria goes, it's harder to kind of narrow down what type of bacteria I'm seeing than it is for the yeast because they are so much smaller. So trying to identify what types of species of bacteria are present based solely on morphology is, yeah, harder than doing that for yeast. But some possible spoilage microbes are lactic acid bacteria, although I don't know that I was quite getting some of the aromas that might be associated with lactic acid bacteria, but acetic acid bacteria, you know, those vinegar producing bacteria was probably present. There might be some other spoilage microbes that are responsible for the like cheesy, vomity feet smell. <laughs> such as bacillus, right? We saw some rod-shaped bacteria 
or Pseudomonas or possibly even Enterobacteria CA. All of those genera of bacteria can produce these really stinky aromas that I was getting. Nevertheless, without genetic sequencing, I don't actually know what's in my tapache that's making it go bad. Overall, I think what I could have done better was monitored the pH, the starting pH of this tapache. Traditional tapache is made from pineapple skins, which is more acidic than the butternut squash and the pumpkin skins that I used. So if I added a little bit of acid, right, maybe a squeeze of lemon or something like that, it might have created more of a, an ideal pH for fermentation, for non-spoilage microbes to do the fermentation. So I'll keep that in mind for next time, but unfortunately I think there's no real saving this batch and I'm probably just gonna have to toss out this tapache.